Today I'm going to do a test with the Pocket Pro. Had a commenter wonder how well it would pick up a voltage drop when you're on a battery when you start a car. So I'm going to do a couple of tests using the min-max feature of the multimeter and also the uh, oscilloscope with a trigger set at a you know some low voltage uh, below the the normal sitting voltage of the battery so that it'll trigger the oscilloscope to, to take a, a shot or a screenshot of the uh, the voltage pattern uh, while I'm cranking the engine so I think I can use a, a uh, falling trigger to do that um, so I'm going to hook the uh, Pocket Pro up to my car battery this is on my Evo 9 not that that matters for this test but let's get it hooked up and then uh, we'll get the Pocket Pro app configured to measure this so let's get this hooked up I've got the alligator clip connected to my Pocket Pro on the plus and minus Go ahead and hook up the ground. Here I've got it set for voltage. Make sure you do that before you hook it up to any voltage. Just remind everybody of that, but you don't, you're gonna blow the fuse in the thing. All right, we got that hooked up. First thing I'm gonna test is the oscilloscope with a, uh, a voltage trigger put on it. Because I wanna see if I can capture how far the voltage drops while I'm cranking the engine. Got it set for two volts per division, volts DC, uh, 500 millisecond uh, capture time that's per division and what that gives me is all the way across the screen it gives me a five second window that it'll capture so while I'm cranking it <clears throat> it should capture the voltage drop and I can see five seconds of uh, the duration starting and then the uh, the trigger starts whenever wherever I've got the um, the marker set so I'm going to have this, uh, right now I've got it set to capture the, the, uh, the falling voltage is 10.49 volts. We'll see if it gets below that. I don't know what's going to go below that, but um, so I'm going to start the oscilloscope. So now it's waiting to trigger. So as soon as it hits 10.49 volts, if it goes that low while I'm cranking, it should capture that. So let's go ahead and start it. So I'm going to do a screenshot of that. So I can put a screenshot, that's nice. Uh, I'm also still video capturing this. So let me try a couple of markers. We had a drop down to, wow. 8.96 volts and I'm able to see how far or how long it took to start so it took a, a little over a second and a quarter to start so I started cranking it voltage dropped down to like uh, about 9 volts so that definitely works so one of the previous commenters from the video was wondering how well it would capture that with the uh, capture time and I've got this set for 2 volts per division 500 millisecond capture time DC volts uh, I've got it set for a trigger a one-time trigger on falling and I had that set at 10.49 volts we'll do that again and but we'll use the multimeter mode I'm gonna change it to multimeter I've got it set for voltage I'm gonna reset the min max Right now I'm sitting at 12.56 volts. Um, let's do another start. So, interesting to compare. I, I don't know if um, if it just didn't drop down as far this time or if it's just not able to capture it as quickly I think the oscilloscope is going to capture it much quicker so the min max feature of this um, showed a minimum voltage of 10.76 volts um, and then it went up to 14.82 after it started 
Uh, let me get my fluke and put it on the min-max feature of that and see how it compares to the min-max of this while I'm doing the same capture. Alright, I'm resetting the Pocket Pro app. So I've got 10.56 on the minimum. The fluke measured down to 10 volts. So yeah, another I get 500 millivolts higher on the pocket for that same test. Maximum 14.67. Uh, the pocket measured up to 14.56. So pretty similar, but um, about 100. 100 millivolts difference on the high end and about 500 millivolts different on the low end but the oscilloscope definitely captured it. Let me uh, do the another test with the fluke on min max mode and I'll do the oscilloscope for the pocket and see how see if that does it better. I'm pretty sure the oscilloscope is still going to be able to capture a much lower or much more accurate reading Good capture on that one. Fluke got a minimum of 10 volts again. And over here we got 10.62. Yeah, so it's capturing it. Looks like there's 10 volts. And so this captured that little dip right there as I hit crank and then that where I've got the black line that's where the 10 volts is that the flute captured so the oscilloscope definitely is a quicker way definitely works good I'm pleased to see that because I do this test a lot when I'm checking electrical systems out on cars 1455 I see a peak of Actually, I do see a peak of it to 15 volts right after it started on the oscilloscope. But then it levels off to 14.5. With quite an interesting little oscillations right there at the top as the alternator kicked on and started charging. The oscilloscope definitely captures a nice little graphic of that, of that uh, voltage swing. Excellent. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked the video. Appreciate you watching and your support.